Hello Flight Simmers, welcome once again to yet another tutorial. This is the seventh episode of our Microsoft Flight Simulator series, and today I'm gonna give a brief overview on external lights, how they work, and when they should be used. Stay tuned! All aircraft basically have the same external lights. For this tutorial, I'm using the Airbus A320. Even for an aircraft as complex as this one, the lights are pretty much similar to the ones you'd find in a Cessna 152, for example. Inside the cockpit, you'll find all the light switches on a single panel. In smaller general aviation aircraft, they can be found near the yoke, sometimes underneath the yoke, sometimes beside the yoke, wherever. But in bigger airplanes such as this one, they're usually found in the overhead panel. The typical external lights common to all aircraft are nav lights, beacon lights, strobe lights, taxi lights, and landing lights. In the case of the A320, it has additional lights, namely runway lights and wing lights. Let's check them out one by one. Nav lights or navigation lights give information on the aircraft's position, heading, or status. Nav lights include a red light on the left wingtip, a green light on the right wingtip, and a white light on the tail end of the aircraft. Together, they make it possible for an observer to tell which direction the aircraft is facing. This is extremely helpful for pilots to avoid colliding with each other, especially at night when it's virtually impossible to figure out which direction an aircraft is flying towards if not for nav lights next is beacon lights. These are the red flashing lights on aircraft. Their purpose is to alert ground crew and other aircraft that your airplane is about to start and get moving. Normally, we turn them on prior to startup and leave them on throughout the duration of the flight and turn them off after the engine is shut down. Next are strobe lights. These are white flashing lights on the wingtips and on the tail. They're the brightest lights on an aircraft although they're not rendered as such here in the game. We turn them on before entering the runway, leave them on throughout the duration of the flight, and turn them off upon leaving the runway after landing. Next are the taxi lights. Taxi lights are medium intensity lights which are usually mounted on the nose of the aircraft. They're used to illuminate the taxiway during ground movement. Turn them on when you're about to taxi and turn them off after taking off turn them on again upon exiting the runway after you land. Next are landing lights. Landing lights illuminate the terrain ahead during takeoff and landing. Think of them as your airplane's headlights. Landing lights add a great deal to your visibility. Turn them on upon entering the runway and leave them on until leaving the airspace. Turn them on again once you enter an airspace and turn them off upon leaving the runway. Now, the A320 has an additional light called the runway light. What this does is it illuminates the runway center line just as bright as the landing lights during takeoff and landing. Another one found in bigger aircraft such as the A320 are the wing lights. The purpose of wing lights is to illuminate the wings so that the crew will be able to observe the wings for things like icing or some other kind of discrepancy. And this is how an Airbus looks with all its external lights turned on. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This has been Marty and I'll be seeing you on the next episode.